Following the launch of a space probe last February, the Islamic Republic of Iran reportedly launched a rocket on August 17th capable of carrying a satellite into space. Iranian authorities confirmed it a success, while Reuters quoted an unnamed U.S. defense official describing the launch as, quote, a dramatic failure. The ballistic missile technology that is used to place satellites into space can also be used for carrying weapons. While the U.S. concern has focused mainly, in this case, on the missile capabilities of Iran, a rising new race in the Middle East does not get enough attention. The Satellite Race There are hundreds of spy and communication satellites in various orbits around the Earth, which enable the owners to see and hear all around the world. There are six types of spy satellites. Optical, infrared, radar, combo, signal, and ocean observation satellites. Each provides a different view of Earth. Most contain optics that enable close-up, high-resolution photography. Eleven countries, including Iran, claim to own them. Some satellites can communicate live, in real time, with individuals on the ground. Others can see through clouds, in any weather condition. Some are so technologically advanced, they allow nations to drop remote-controlled bombs precisely on target. Some estimate there are more than 25,000 satellites orbiting the Earth. Many were launched decades ago and no longer work, and are the reason for so much space debris. Increasingly, private satellites are able to provide detailed images from anywhere on Earth. Companies such as Google even allow you to view the world at your fingertips. In an attempt to keep enemies of America from accessing these images, the U.S. military has begun buying exclusive rights to images from commercial satellites. Iran already has satellite capabilities via a close cooperation with Russia. Russia previously launched an Iranian-designed satellite constructed by Russia named Sina-1. The 2005 launch was aimed at surveying Iran's agricultural and natural resources. On August 24th, the Iranian president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, announced that Iran will send a telecommunications satellite into space, quote, very soon, using missile technology. The missile reportedly that would carry the satellite would, quote, move at a speed of 8,000 meters per second and has very complex technical equipment. While dealing with the race on the nuclear and missile fronts, the Middle East has to cope soon with a rising new race, this time in space.